We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Because that goal will serve to organize and measure the best of our energies and skills. Because that challenge is one that we're willing to accept, one we are unwilling to postpone, and one we intend to win, and the others too. momentous, uh, most memorable thing that I can recall about that particular day was the opportunity while my, uh, my two friends here were being put into the spacecraft to uh, stand alone by myself uh, out there and look at the rocket and the quietness and see the sun come up and the waves rolling in and the evidence of the millions of people uh, watching but, but nothing specific and just so quiet and to realize that Indeed, uh, such a contrast was going to take place, all the frantic activity preparing the rocket, but it was so quiet up there for me personally, and that in a very few moments uh, we were going to be uh, departing in a, in a great roar and offer a momentous uh, event. I thought uh, we had a 90% chance of getting back safely to Earth on that flight, but only a 50-50 a chance of making a successful landing on the first first attempt. There's so many unknowns in that descending from lunar orbit down to the surface that had not been demonstrated yet by testing. It's a risk-reward uh, equation. And uh, you're able to accept a level of risk so long as it's commensurate with the roar reward that you will get by achieving the goal that you're after. coming in uh, to the control center at this time indicate we are go. One minute, 25 seconds and counting. Our status board indicates the third stage completely pressurized. 80 second mark has now been passed. We'll go on full internal power at the 50 second mark in the countdown. Guidance system goes on internal at 17 seconds, leading up to the ignition sequence at 8.9 seconds. We're approaching the 60 second mark on uh, the Apollo 11 mission. 12, 11, 10, 9, ignition sequence start, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, all engine running, liftoff, we have a liftoff, 32 minutes past the hour, liftoff on Apollo 11. Tower clear. Neil Armstrong reporting the roll and pitch program, which puts Apollo 11 on a proper heading. Downrange, one mile, altitude three, four miles now. Velocity, 2,195 feet per second. 11 Houston, thrusters go, all engines, you're looking good. Houston, you are go for staging. Tower, come on. Roger, tower. Inboard cutoff. Inboard engines out. I'm inboard cutoff. Roger, we've got the high gain uh, locked on now, I believe, auto 
we're tracking now. Okay, you're coming in uh, loud and clear, but uh, Mike is just barely readable. Uh, 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 loud and clear now, Mike, and we understand that you are dark. That's fine. Houston, we're ready for lamb ejection. Uh, Roger, go for a lamb ejection. Thank you. Roger, you took Apollo 11, go ahead. Uh, Roger, could you give us uh, some comments on how the transposition and docking went over? Yeah, I, I thought it went pretty well. Yeah. Apollo 11, Houston, we are go for undocking, over. Roger, understand. Roger, Eagle, sun dot. Roger, how does it look? The Eagle has wings. Roger. Right. Eagle, Houston, we, Houston, we see you on the stairwell, over. I do believe you got thrusters on board that vehicle. Okay, you got us through data. All uh, right, Roger, let us know when you're ready to copy. We have a DOI pad the, and a PDI pad, over. Guidance says we'll go. 875 feet. That's looking good, down a half. Six forward. 60 seconds. Lights on. Down two and a half. Forward. Forward. 40 feet down two and a half. Picking up some dust. 30 feet two and a half down. Straight shadow. Four forward. Four forward. Drifting to the right a little. Down a half. 30 seconds. Forward. Just. Contact light. Okay, engine stop. APA at a descent. Post control, both auto descent engine command override off. Engine arm off. 413 is in. We copy you down, Eagle. Houston, uh, Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. Roger, Twink. Tranquility, we copy you on the ground. You got a bunch of guys about to turn blue. We're breathing again. Thanks a lot. The surface appears to be uh, very, very fine-grained as you get close to it. It's almost like a powder. Ground mass uh, is very fine. this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out 
of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the earth.